I don't have any one. When you're when you're when you're at Glastonbury, can I get a free ticket? Can I watch you? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. 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 This is this has been such a laugh, honestly. Ain't that right, yourself. Will? Ain't that right, Will? I think I just broke my lip. <laughs> Hello. I'm still thinking of a way to start these vlogs. Three months I've been doing this. Probably over a hundred days. Is it? So, 31 days in May. 31 in April, 62. 30 in June, 92. And then I started at the end of March. So I reckon we must be up to a hundred. Near enough, anyway. Hope it's not too windy. I've got my hand around the mic. I did buy that microphone, didn't I? But I didn't think it was working. I need to test it again. I don't know where I've put it. I've lost my mojo. The um, younger two boys broke up from school today. And it's such a relief. I'm so glad. <laughs> but... Oh, I got brownie in my teeth. I've just had a brownie. They cook brownies. Delicious. Really chewy. I've just truffled one. Stood up. Quickly. Pretending I wasn't eating it, you know. <laughs> um, I, um... <laughs> this is windy. Yeah, I have lost my mojo. I just feel like... I've been in coping mode. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And now it's stop and I was just up on the bed and um, I was trying to edit two days ago's vlog because I'm behind I haven't done 30th of June yet and um, then my alarm went off saying that Bill had got math so I went downstairs I got Bill onto math so I sat down on the sofa next to him and fell asleep woke up two hours later and now I just can't be bothered to do anything I can't be bothered to do anything. I can't be bothered to talk to anyone. I can't be bothered, bothered, bothered. I am fed up with the world. <laughs> I'm not sort of fed up with lockdown. I'm coping with that. I'm just poddling along, doing my thing. You know, I'm, I've firmly got my head into a mode where I don't allow myself to get upset or to miss people or to lament the loss of life that we used to live because there are people out there who have lost life and they've lost livelihoods and it's all just a big pigging mess but lots of people I know lots I said the other day lots of my loved ones are beginning to bend the rules to fit them and I don't feel that they're keeping themselves safe and I can't mix with them if they're not keeping themselves safe because then I can't mix with people like for example my mum she can't she wouldn't be able to mix with me if I was out gallivanting because her husband's vulnerable and Toby's parents I wouldn't be able to confidently see them when the rules break and they can come and stay because I would know that I'd been with Somebody who's been with several other groups of people, you know, even if they're practicing what they think is social distancing. Two meters is a really big distance. And one meter is, especially if anybody's been having an 
uh, you know, if they're distracted or if they've got little ones and they're running around after them or they've, or they've had a drink, they, you do forget and you do get too close. And this is a pernicious virus. This is a horrible, horrible virus. And I know of a few people who've had it. I know one of my family members was hospitalised right at the beginning. And he, he, he still isn't really any better. And I've been waffling for four minutes. I've been moaning for four minutes. Moaning. Sorry. Right, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Has she sopped you? Has she sopped you?